Hi friends, happy Thursday. Today our closed reading passage for the day is entitled Wagon Master. Take a look at the passage, determine the genre and thinking job for this passage. As I know you are already aware by now, our genre is fiction, realistic, our thinking job is character problem solution lesson learned. First read, student read. Read the passage on your own. Use your thinking job as you are reading. Pause the videos so that you may have more time to read the passage. Second read, teacher read. Make sure you have read the passage on your own. If you need more time, go back and pause the video to continue reading. Teacher reads the passage. Students are to follow along as the teacher reads. The Wagon Master. The families gathered in front of the sheriff's office in the town. They were all part of a wagon train that would head west in a few days. Most had no idea about what lay ahead. They just knew they were in for a long and difficult trip. The first thing we need to do, said James Richmond, is to elect a leader. We've got 25 wagons on this trip and we need someone who we can trust to get us there safely. Mr. Richmond was a big, tall man who looked more like a cowboy than a banker from Independence, Missouri. Where the families had traveled to join the wagon train, although he looked strong enough to wrestle and steer or fight off bank robbers, his confident voice and peaceful manner bespoke a thoughtful and reasonable man. Have you made this trip before, Mr. Richmond? Asked one of the men in the group. No, sir, I haven't, Richmond replied. Always wanted to, but never got the chance. Or maybe I wasn't ready yet. Anyway, the time is right and I'm ready now. Before the group disband that night, they'd elected James Richmond as wagon master. In addition to bringing many of their personal possessions, the members of the wagon train agreed to a budget for the supplies each family needed to make the trip. Flour, sugar, lard, Bacon and such were essential supplies for everyone on the train. So the first thing that Richmond did in the morning was to head to the general store to assist the group's purchases. When all of the purchases had been loaded onto the wagons, Richmond headed off to hire a guide. 
while some of the other wagon masters served as guides as well he wanted to hire someone who'd make the trip who made the trip dozens of times before him someone who knew the land and knew where and where not to go the group had agreed and seeing that richmond had a lot of responsibility already they'd also agreed to hire a cook the morning of the departure arrived families met at the edge of town greeting each other with nervous and excited excited smiles after doing a head count and reviewing the rules of the road richmond and his group headed out his plan was to cover about 10 miles each day it would be on him to decide when to break for meals and when to make camp for the night he knew that his first day would go a bit slower as folks had to get used to walking the distances they'd need to walk the days and miles went by when the wagon train made camp at the end of each day richmond was the last to get to bed he was also the first to rise at night he'd make sure that the wagons were in a tight circle and that all the animals were enclosed in that circle so that horse thieves couldn't steal them in the mornings he'd make sure everyone was up and ready to go and finally when the group arrived in oregon james richmond was the first to welcome them to their new home take this time to jot the problem and solution in the text pause the video and write down the problem and solution in the text and type it into the comments Comprehension questions. Answer the questions in the comments. Why is third person point of view a good one to use for this story? Do you think the group made the right decision to hire James Richmond? Why or why not? How does point of view affect how the story is told? 